So over the past few years, the whole streaming scene has absolutely exploded. And if you want to find out how to separate your stream from the rest of the pack, I got you guys covered today. What's up, I'm Random Frank P, in collaboration with Corsair and Elgato to bring you a video on how to make your stream that much better. Today we'll cover the Camlink 4K and how to use that with your DSLR or a video camera. We'll talk about how to capture your gameplay footage with HD60S, HD60 Pro, and 4K60 Pro capture cards, and even using Screen Link to get what's on your phone to your PC. So let's head back to the PC and I'll show you all how. Alright, so first up, let's check out the Camlink 4K. This is just going to replace your webcam because you've seen that typical webcam quality. This is going to enable you to use a video camera or a DSLR now. The setup process is extremely simple. All you have to do is plug it into an available USB slot on your PC and then connect your camera to the Camlink 4K, either via HDMI, micro HDMI, mini HDMI, whatever your camera needs. Then once it's all powered up, you'll notice a little white light on the Camlink itself. All right, so we have Streamlabs OBS booted up and immediately you can tell a difference in just how much better the quality is versus a regular webcam. The colors are better. There's just so much more depth now. Um, one thing I want to say is definitely check their compatibility list because you want to make sure your camera can actually work with this as well as having a clean feed output. So what that means is this right now what you're seeing is you know all the, the data and stuff, the metadata versus a clean feed where all that's gone. So if your camera can do that and it's compatible with the cam link, then you're on your way. Then from there, what we can do is just resize our image a little bit to get it framed how we want. And I'm going to apply a chroma key filter to eliminate the green screen behind me. And then just like that, the image quality is taken to the next level for our stream. All right, so next up is going to be the process of getting your gameplay to your stream efficiently with capture cards. We have an external capture card, the HD60S, which is good for 1080p footage from your Xbox One, your PS4, your Switch. Then we have the HD60 Pro, which is also good for consoles and 1080p footage. But this one connects to your PC via a PCIe lane. And then we have the 4K60 Pro for getting 4K footage at 60 FPS, great for the Xbox One X, the PS4 Pro, or just another PC in general. This also plugs into an available PCIe lane in your PC, and then from there you can take advantage of the instant game view for practically zero delay. Now you will need Elgato's 4K capture utility to bring that 4K footage onto your PC for the live stream. And then from there, once you're in Streamlabs OBS, it's going to be a matter of adding a new video capture device. Since we have it installed, it'll be recognized right away for the Game Capture 4K 60 Pro. It is the Video 1. And now I can play Red Dead Redemption 2 right from my Xbox One X and be able to live stream and record the 4K video right in Streamlabs OBS. It takes a matter of a few minutes to get it all set up. Then lastly is integrating Screen Link with your live streams. You need to have an iOS device connected to your computer via Wi-Fi. First download and install the latest version of the 4K capture utility for Windows or the game capture software for Mac OS. Once those are installed and you have the Screen Link app on your iOS device, make sure under your phone's control center you have the screen recording option. This can be added by going to the settings. Then long tap on the screen recording icon, and then from there you can select Screen Link. And then whether you're live streaming gameplay or just yourself talking to your audience, that can now be integrated into your stream. And then getting what's on your phone into Streamlabs OBS is very simple. All you're going to want to do is add a new source, which is going to be the video capture device. And then from the drop down menu, we're not going to do the same capture device we already have, which is the Camlink 4K. We're going to select now the Elgato uh, Screen Link. And then before you know it, you're going to have your live feed being broadcasted right into Streamlabs OBS. And the same is going to go for gameplay and stuff with apps. Once you load up whatever game or app you want to display, go to the control center, hit the screen record, and that will then be immediately broadcasted right to your Streamlabs OBS via the Screen Link app. All right, so now you know how to separate your stream from the rest of the pack and improve your overall quality using the Camlink 4K, their capture cards, and the Screen Link app. Well, I'm Random Frank P. Hope you enjoyed. Have a good day.